You'll notice I'm still in the host drawing, xrefs.dwg, and I've got the external reference file, property line, selected in the drawing area. So I've got the external reference tab showing. If you haven't got that, and it looks like this, and you haven't got your external reference selected, just hover over it, click on it, and the external reference tab will appear on the ribbon. Now, in the previous video, I showed you how an external reference file can be edited by someone else and then be brought back into the host drawing. That's the whole idea of external reference files, these XRefs. They allow people to collaborate and bring different drawings together to show the appropriate information. However, you can edit an XREF in place. You don't have to have that external reference file, DWG file, open to edit the reference at all. What you can do is you can use a thing called edit reference in place. Now I mentioned the edit panel earlier in the chapter. We're gonna look at edit reference in place here like so. Just before we do though, you want to make sure in the home tab here that you're using the appropriate layer. Now I've got a property line layer. So let's go down and you'll see you've got property line there but you've also got this one here. Now I mentioned layers earlier and layers, you can see there's a property line and then a funny little sort of upright line and then a property line again. So what that's telling you is the name of the reference file and the name of the layer that's come in with the reference file. So you'll notice there property line is the name of the file, property space line is the name of the layer in that reference file. So you can work with that layer. You can change the color, you can freeze it, you can lock it, you can switch it on or off. I'm not gonna make any changes to it, but just make sure you're on the property space line layer, just in case you do make any changes to this xrefs.dwg drawing, because you're working on the property line on the building in the xrefs, the host drawing. It doesn't matter what changes you make if you're editing the reference in place, because it will do that in the property line.dwg file. Now it's really clever how this works. So let's go back to the external reference tab on the ribbon and select edit reference in place. Now, as soon as I do that, it says, oh, reference edit. You need to edit your reference in your AutoCAD drawing. Now, the good thing is we've only got one reference, so it's not difficult. You might have a big list here though. So just make sure that you select the appropriate reference that you want to edit. You can also change the settings. So you can create unique layer style and block names when you're editing in place, and you can lock the objects that are not in the working set. That lock objects is really important. Make sure it's ticked because then you're only working on the XREF in place and not anything else. So we identify the reference, there is only one, and any nested objects, such as you might be working with blocks and nested blocks, make sure that that is selected as well. It's always useful. Click on OK, and it will say that the XREF selected references a previous release drawing file format. Now, the reason that it's letting me know this is because all of our drawings that we provide you with in the library go back to that 2013 DWG file format. If you update an external reference file in place, it will automatically go to the current release drawing format. So in this case, it will go to a 2018 DWG file format. That's really important to remember because what it means is people with previous versions, previous to that 2018, won't be able to see the XREF. So be aware of that. You might need to go back and edit the property line.dwg file locally and save it back to a different file format once you've made the changes. Really important to remember that one because it can affect a big project with lots of XREF files. I'm gonna click on OK just to say, yep, OK, I've got that. And the XREF cannot be checked out for editing. Why not? Well, because I've already got that property line.dwg file open. There's the tab up there. So if somebody's using it, I cannot do a reference in place edit. So I'll OK that, thank you for that. I go up to property line here like so, and I just close the file. I go back to the XREFs now, select my XREF like so, and go edit reference in place. Property line, automatically select, check your settings, make sure that lock objects is on, and okay it. Now it tells me about the file format. So I just click on okay, and now you'll see it's highlighted, 
and I can make the necessary changes. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to go back to the Home tab on the ribbon. As you can see, I'm on the Property Line Ref Ed, so it's sorting out all the layers in the in-place external reference already. So I go now to Line. I'm going to draw a line from here, like that, hover over this point and come upwards, and click there. I'm then going to come back down to that point there, Enter to finish. Now remember, this is a polyline. So what I've got to do is I've got to explode that like so. So make sure I explode it like so. And then what I'm going to do is I'm going to remove that line there like that. And then I'm going to do polyline edit like so. Select polyline. So make sure you select one of the line segments. Do you want to turn it into one? Yes, I do. Like we did before. So it's now join and you want to join everything. So all of these are going to join together to make a polyline. So make sure you select everything like so. You can even select the original line as well. That's all good. And then you press Enter to finish, and then Enter again to close Polyline Edit. You'll notice where you've joined to the polyline, those line segments there do look a little bit weird there. Don't worry about that too much. That's just Polyline Edit doing its little thing there. So don't worry about that too much. You can maybe go back and edit that later if you need to. But we've now finished editing in place. Hang on a minute, where did that external reference tab go? Well, as soon as you selected Edit Reference in place, you've got a new, on the Home tab here, Edit Reference Panel. So you want to now save your changes. Yes, they will be saved. Click on OK. Job done. So that's all been edited, and you can see there that you've got your edited external reference file. Now, if I go back to Open, and I open up the Property Line drawing, there it is there. It's edited in the property line.dwg file as well. It's all been edited in place from the Xrefs drawing here. So you can see how quick and easy it is to edit your references in place as well. Really important that you know that because the external reference files can all be linked up. You just select your reference file, edit it in place, job done. Quick and easy. Sometimes you might need to do that because the person who is meant to be working on the property line drawing might not be available, they might be on holiday. It saves you having to go and find the file. You just edit it in place. But make sure with that file format that you go back to the property line drawing and do one thing that I need to show you, which is here. Make sure you do a save as, like so. There's property line.dwg and make sure it's saved back to the file format that you need. So ours are always saved back to 2013. I'll do a save. It will replace it because it's using a 2018 file format. Do I want to replace it? Yes, I do. Just to make sure that it's saved back to the 2013 DWG file format instead of the 2018 DWG file format.